It's Madden NFL 24, and we'll be watching the Patriots' speedy running back. He comes into this one second in the league in rushing with an eye on becoming number one. It's the Pats and the Commanders, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. From the area known as Patriot Place, EA Sports set for football at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup. We're all set to go, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They come in just in an absolute free fall, losers of seven in a row. And this is where you turn to your best players and look at them and say, can you guide us out of this? We've got it. The Pats offense ready to go here in front of the home faithful. And the one we'll be watching is this man at running back. He's up over 900 yards now for the season, and you think he knows Maybe he can smell it. He's closing it on a thousand. What do you think? Oh, you better believe it. There's no doubt in my mind. And guess what? His offensive line knows as well because he's dropped a few well-placed, broad hints about it. They're going to try and combine and get him that yardage. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Excellent effort defensively by him. Two tackles for a loss last week, now one here in the first quarter. He's an absolute disruptor, isn't he? And I think most offenses would love to go against guys who just want to hold the point of attack and try and keep things clean for their linebackers. But when they make those moves and they can get upfield, past the offensive line, into the backfield, that's hard to handle. On third down, Jones. Side open is Gusecki. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Well, you want to make sure that on an opening drive, that you at least stay out there for a while and get into the flow of the game. A three and out would have been problematic, but that's a good throw there to ensure they get another set of downs. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. The Patriots at 1-7 now on the year. And they come in in just an absolute free fall. Losers now, Charles, of seven in a row. And I think this is where, in a locker room, a lot of the team looks to their best players and even silently asks for them to guide them out of this. You know, we've got to be better than what we've shown. We need you to lead us. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Right back to him on first down. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. You talk about this Washington defense. And they find themselves just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And those add up into big mistakes. Big mistakes add up into points against you. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now Jones to throw on third down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he will have the Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they'll use him out in the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. But the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The numbers for him from a week ago. A boatload of carries, 96 yards, and a touchdown. We all know he had a big workload last week, so I'm eager to see if they decide to back him off a little bit. Personally, I hand it to him 20-plus times again. When a running back's locked in like he is, I want him to keep touching the football. Inside the 25-yard line. Hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough.
Here's Jones throwing on first down. Out route, and this is Henry with the catch. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And he'll get this down only to the 18. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he will have a Patriots first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only Charles in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right, they want to run their offense through him. Jones now to throw on second down. Over the middle complete, that's Parker. So the completion good for just three. And now it's third and four. Operating from the gun, Jones. Parker's got it for a Patriots touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Pats get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. The losing streak had taken on a life of its own, and I think it infiltrates a team when you're on that much of a slide. But this group has managed to focus, come out early, and put a touchdown on the board. They look, they look like they mean business in this one. Well, they do now the key, holding on to that attitude, because, man, that streak has been a struggle for them. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. A one in seven, their record here at the midway point of the season. And right now, this organization, more than likely, if you look at it, CD, probably in for a rough second half of the season. Well, we've seen teams turn things around in other places. And we've seen one in seven first halves turn into five and three second halves. But with this squad, I think these guys aren't playing to get into the playoffs. They're playing for their jobs. So is the coaching staff. They're coaching for theirs. Front office trying to keep theirs. The heat is on from all directions. And what's interesting is, a lot of these guys are playing for jobs and, and, and trying to keep their positions. It might be just in the league in some other spot. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Back to throw. Jones. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. As my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. And he rifles one incomplete. When you look at this defense, they are the 22nd ranked unit against the run in the NFL. Being able to set the tone early in this game because when you get down to it, it's that sign that we saw in their football facility when we visited with them. The one that said no explosives, no big plays, no chunk plays. That's what they've got to take care of. On second down, they'll run it here. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Back to throw, Jones. Oh, he's trying for Smith Schuster, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Emmanuel Forbes. He's to the 15, and he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. 
Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week, when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. It's up just shy of the 30. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 34 yard line. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he's got his man on the out route. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. New England trying to get into place on offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. field because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down but sometimes you just don't want to break tendency stay with what you are stay with who you know and go get the first down that's exactly what they did it'll go as a gain of four and it'll be second down they gave up the completion there but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch Looking to throw again on second down. Jones firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Seven yards there and a first down. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Operating from the gun. Jones looking for his running back and he's got it. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Jones on third down. And he wisely will throw that one away. New England's offense set to go. That 7 nothing lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. They go play action here on first down. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Uh, 
to throw again. Jones. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a good job there, knuckling down as an offense. You're trying to pull three and out at all costs. And after two straight incompletions, this one's on target, and they're able to keep the chains moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And here's a handoff out of the gun. There he goes, left side. Down the left sideline. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 67 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a thousand yard campaign. Once he broke through that first wave of defenders, there was a pretty big gap there for him to run. And it helps that they were in a dime defense. That's six defensive backs. So this is why a lot of teams now are searching for those linebacker safety combo type guys who can add a little bit more size on the defensive side of the ball, but can still run as well. Because when you run against six DBs with some bigger offensive linemen, you ought to get this result. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's got this inside the 10 to the nine before he's out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Touchdown, Patriots! Mike Gesicki, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go down the field and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. The commanders bring it out the nickel package on third down. Looking to throw. Jones, and that is incomplete. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Again, he'll drop the throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. 
finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Chase Young in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to Fort Dell. That's a Chase Young we all saw coming out of Ohio State, and no one's questioning the potential of the 2020 Rookie of the Year. The key for him, staying on the field. Help makes this a crucial year for his future in D.C. And now out come the Patriots. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much when you're running on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for that, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Now a handoff as they run left side. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Cody Barton there to bring him down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And well, the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. Montez Sweat in good form there as he sacks another quarterback. And he's in good form in 2022 as well. Put up eight sacks coming off of an injury-shortened campaign the year prior. New England trying to get a place on offense. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 118 yards rushing for him now on 25 carries. The way the game has changed a little bit is that defensive goals have changed in a big way. Nowadays, it's not so much stopping certain yardage or whatever, but it's not giving up big, explosive plays. Anything over 10 yards, you're trying to hold teams below that. And they get one against you, as we just saw there, but that really hurts them. It puts them back on their heels a little bit. It makes them a little bit less confident. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. From the 41, here's second and three. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Hands it off out of the gun. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. That one good for third. 
17 and a New England first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a throw here to his running back. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that will bring up second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And now one yard to go on third down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll get a report when we return to Foxboro. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, tried his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. The commander's defense looking for a stop here. It's third and goal. Back to throw. Jones. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Mike Gesicki, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here on the fourth. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. He yeah, has multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. New England's offense set to go. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go-around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long, we've seen them get gashed. This time, they played the responsibilities, played their keys. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. There's Jamin Davis, the former Kentucky Wildcat, bringing the pressure that time. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Now Jones, throwing on third and long. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Just a yard. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. 
From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Open man, Smith Schuster, it's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 35. So he paused for an injured player. And now what you want to see, Juju Smith Schuster. He's in some pain out there. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Here's Jones on first and ten. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. From the gun on third down, Jones. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. But Brandon, from our time in college football, the receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. They'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. We already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Jones. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. And that drive is going pretty darn well. Three previous times converted on third down. But on that one, the defense rose up and said, enough of that. Well, it came down to the final play in such a close ball game. What a game it was. But they can't get that last throw off. Good job by that defense to get in there for the sack to seal it. And for fans watching the game, a little bit anticlimactic, don't you think, partner? Not even able to get off one last throw to see how it would have turned out. Instead, pass rush got to him and ended it that way.